Welcome to another Spreadsheeters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spreadsheeters website. In this video, we'll see how to remove non-numeric non characters from cells in Excel. Excel has many features and tools to help with formatting both uh, numbers and text within cells. When cleaning up data or performing some kind of analysis on data, you may need to manipulate the text within a cell and either uh, remove unwanted uh, characters or extract some information from that cell. So this is very common when you're working with data such as customer feedback or transcripts from audio or video recordings where the data is highly unstructured and you need to do some amount of manipulation to extract the data that you need. So in this example, I have a transcript of um, employee appraisals and as you can see, the employee code is mentioned as uh, numbers, but it is different in each one of the appraisals. So what I would like to do is to remove all the non-numeric characters and keep only the numbers because that would be the employee code. And having extracted the code, I can just store it along with the transcript. So in Excel, to do this, you need to create a formula that uh, strings together many functions. So let's look at those. We'll start from the uh, innermost function. Now, basically, the approach is to first create an array. An array is a, a, a string or a collection, a sequence of characters uh, that will store every single one of the characters within the text. To do that, I use the row function, which returns the uh, cell reference of the row it is in. And I use this in combination with a function called indirect which will convert the row references into an array. Now the array has to have enough placeholders for each one of the characters uh, within this string, within the uh, text in this first row. So I will start with a one and I want it to um, join, be joined to the length, the len returns the length of the text and uh, close the brackets. So what this does is it'll create an array uh, which starts at one and ends at the length of A2, which is the length meaning the number of characters. So now you can see that it started at one and if I scroll down, it goes right up to, there are 115 characters here. So this is the uh, first part of the formula. Now the second part, in the second part, we're going to take each character from this text and put it into this array. To do that, we'll use the mid function. So I've selected the cell and I'm going to the formula bar. I'll type mid, open brackets. Now I need the text, which is this text. Now the starting number will be this array, which I have built. And I want to ex extract one character because for each placeholder, I want to place a character and close the brackets and press enter. Now you can see each one of the characters with within within this uh, text has been placed in this array and it goes all the way down there. Now the next uh, step is I want to convert each one of the non-numeric characters. I want to remove them. So what I will do is I will multiply this by one. What this will do is all the non-numeric characters will show an error because they can't be multiplied by uh, one but the numeric characters will stay as they are. So let's press enter and see this happen. Now you can see that all the characters have turned into errors and only the numbers remain. Now the next step is to get rid of this error. I want to replace it with a blank. For that, I will use the if error function. So I'll type if error, open brackets. So uh, if error evaluates a formula and returns a specified value if the uh, error occurs, if an error occurs. So this is the formula. Now I have to type the value if an error occurs. In this case, I just want it to be empty. So I'll put double quotes and close the brackets and say enter. Now I can see everything has disappeared. Only the numbers remain. Now let's go back to the formula. And the final step is to collapse all this array back into a single string. So go back and for that we'll use the text join function. So here the delimiter, I just want a, a, a space. I don't want any delimiter, so I'll just keep it blank. Then 
there's an option to ignore empty cells. I'm going to set it as true because I've got a whole lot of empty cells here. And then uh, the other arguments is the text that is to be joined together. The text join takes a, a number of pieces of text and joins it together with the specified delimiter. So that being done, I can now uh, close the brackets and say enter. And now I've got my code here. Now, since I've created this formula, I can easily copy it down to the other cells by just dragging the fill handle down and it is the formula is populated in the rest of the column. And I can see that only the employee codes have been extracted. Now, you don't always need to build the formula this way. This formula being done, you can just type the whole thing in uh, one go. I just went through each element to explain how it works. Now, in some versions of Excel, you may not, uh, this will work as an array formula. So, having typed the formula, instead of pressing just enter, press Control Shift Enter to make it into an array formula, which is indicated by the set of curly braces. So, this is how to remove non numeric characters from cells in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance.